Hallo zusammen. Today I, a German, will react to what do the Brits think about the Germans. It's gonna be a blind reaction. I haven't watched this video before. So let's dive into this. I'm not gonna be reacting to the entire video most probably because you should also have an incentive to check out the rest of the video if you're interested in this. You can find a link to the original video in the video description down below. And without further ado, I'd say I'm gonna country you in, in a very German way. Drei, zwei, eins, I mean, is, is there such a thing as a German it's humor? Humorless. <laughs> <laughs> they have humor, it's yeah. just well hidden. That is true, we do have humor. Why? Germany. Yeah. So, this was the most questioned question to ask the Brits. What do the Brits think of the Germans? As you can see, I'm back in England and I'm here to ask, answer this question to as many Brits as I can. This is the first time I'm in St. Albans, it's a smaller part of England Looks that beautiful. many of you Germans have no idea what it is. Right. So let's go find out. Ah, beautiful landscape. Cathedrals and everything. England edition, you're a true Brit. Hi, by the way. Nice what do you think of the Germans? Love them to bits. Yeah. Always have done. Ever since I was a youth. 40, 40, 50 years ago, I was younger and prettier looking. <laughs> and I, I found myself in Germany roughly every two months over a period mm. of about five years. And, uh, and I had wonderful experiences. Germans, very, very hospitable in my experience. Yeah. More hospitable than the French. I actually don't know, and I wonder about this myself. How often do English people actually travel to Germany? You know, I mean, we're quite close, geographically speaking, I get that. But I don't think Germans actually travel to the UK nearly as often as Brits may come over to Germany. First of all, yes, we do have a sense of humor. I think these days there is definitely sort of a difference between the humor that elder people may have, you know, 50 years upwards, and younger people have the more youth-like humor with memes and everything. I think Germans, when they try to tell a joke sometimes, they tend to have very long jokes with a very long punchline and twist at the end. But by the end of the, the joke, you may have forgotten about the beginning, so... Uh, also, I would like to know what are the favorite places for Brits to go to in Germany? You know, if you enjoy some countryside like the one we saw at the beginning of the video, the Sauerland region in North Rhine-Westphalia may be something for you because we have lots of nature. Good for hiking, by the way. Made a vlog about that at some point. Also, the hospitality. I think younger people especially that are capable of understanding English and speaking English, at least a little bit, they won't have a problem with that. The thing though is, and that is what I guess many people from other regions in the world may not know about Germany, my grandparents' generation that were born in the 1930s or even sometimes 1920s, you know, 1940s, they didn't necessarily learn English back in school. That wasn't the time. After the Second World War, it only came then for those later generations and later born people in Germany that they actually learned English in school. So the language barrier, as long as it's there, I guess that also affects the hospitality. These days, you know, with globalization and everything and basically everyone in the Western world at least becoming more and more similar in cultural terms, the standard of living, the way of living, you know, the walk of life, the hospitality definitely is there. Germans may even appreciate you trying to express yourself in German even if you make mistakes here and there, don't be afraid to do that. That is just normal in the learning process. I personally would really appreciate that, of course. <laughs> yeah, they don't really get the British humour as much. Um, and I, I, don't, I haven't actually personally seen it that much, but yeah. my mum says that apparently there's a thing about Germans always doing like kind of bowel-related jokes <laughs> or toilet-related yeah, 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 jokes yeah, yeah, and yeah. don't really get the sarcasm yeah. so much. Yeah, I mean, we can have quite dark humor, black humor, that is, Schwarzer Humor in German. But for instance, you know, something more modern, something like YouTube poop videos, I really enjoy. And I also personally enjoy watching someone like Kadikarus, you know, a Brit making funny videos about video games. British dry humor, which is very 
sometimes in your face, then again, something like The Life of Brian, for instance, or Monty Python in general, that is very popular over here. Very popular movies. You know, my parents' generation, born in the 60s, they love that stuff. And I do too. TLDR, I think that's not really true. Maybe partially, also depends on personal taste, of course, but uh, personally and my surrounding, we actually like that humor quite a lot. Um, I think they're funny. Yeah. I yeah. think their language is yeah. kind of intimidating. Yeah. <laughs> if I was to get yelled at by a German person, I'd, I'd, cry. I'd, I'd, yeah. probably I'd cry. cry. I would cry. <laughs> You know, I could fire back here, and not meaning that in a negative way, only in a funny way, of course, but uh, their language is quite intimidating. Intimidating. Why don't you pronounce the T? That is intimidating to me, rhyme rhyme. Or something that I keep reading more and more in the past, like, three, four years. Would off instead of would have. Why is that a thing? That really triggers me in a way. There are certain terms that can be very intimidating, intimidating because in many German words, we tend to have certain recurring combinations of consonants. KR, for instance, in Krankenhaus, you know, stuff like that. Krabbe, Kr, that Kr sound of course, is very harsh. Also, what you can find in many German words, actually, is the S-C-H, the sh, which is very sharp, you know, scheiße, for instance, or schön, to say something positive here. It's mostly the consonants, I think, and it's, German is a quite consonant-heavy language. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for them. Yeah. Um, and I think they're generally very competent. Yeah, yeah. Though, uh, occasionally, if they are incompetent, they're very incompetent. Yeah, yeah. But it doesn't wow. happen often. That is a very good point. I reflected on that here and there myself as well. Maybe it's not typical for Germany necessarily, and it's basically similar for many other countries as well, I don't know. When we have the knowledge, the professional technical knowledge to do something, for instance in the industry, you know, engineering, when we're good at something, we are really good at it most of the time. But we sometimes lose ourselves in perfectionism, I think. When we have certain laws for something or certain regulations, we try to think of all the potentially possible exceptions to the rule and how to incorporate them into the law so that they are being taken care of. Sometimes I feel like we live by the idea of, well, it's better to prove something twice than just once, even though it may double or triple the duration, the amount of time it takes to prove it, to really say, well, yeah, that's greenlit, that's good to go, we can do that. Interesting topic, definitely, and he basically hit the hammer on the nail, the nail on the head, the hammer on the head? What did he hit, actually? I mean, he was definitely spot on with that, yes, I think. We... What was... I knew that there is something off with UK, now I know. Chicken people. We don't have chicken people in Germany. Uh, Schadenfreunde, for example. Right, yeah. I yeah. mean, when someone stubs their toe, which I just did recently, because I'm wearing flip flops, which is inadvertent. <laughs> Probably not the best of days to be doing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, th these friends of mine would be like, on the floor rolling in laughter. Die Schadenfreude. He actually misspoke a little bit. He said, die Schadenfreunde, the damaged friends in a way. But it sort of relates, funnily enough, it relates to this whole aspect, die Schadenfreude. The damage joy. Nice band name, actually. The joy you feel when someone damages themselves or hurts themselves. Not very hurtful things, not extremely hurtful, not extremely bad injuries, that is, but only minor things, you know, stepping your toe is a good example, actually. There's a good chance that Germans will laugh because it makes them feel better. They aren't in that situation, they can laugh about it, you know, from the outside, basically, as a third person. And I don't know if something like that exists in the UK necessarily, but in, on German TV, German television, there are a few shows which are all about Schadenfreude. Collections of clips, there's black eyes and people slide away, funny mishaps. Something like that. Now that I think about it, that may also link to something that Germans, or many Germans at least, are quite interested in being der voyeurismus. Observing someone else and what they do, you know, whether it's online or offline these days. I don't have their problems, I know of their problems because I've observed them and what they do, you know, and upload and whatnot. But I don't have those problems. See, I can feel better then, you know. I, I think that is also quite strong in Germany, at least for some people. And that again leads me to a, I think, fundamental cultural difference when, at least when I think of America. I don't know what it's like in the UK necessarily, but feel free to tell me in the comments. From what I know, when Americans see someone being very successful, popular, well-known, 
rich, famous, you know, stuff like that. They feel sort of good for those people, you know? And they may think something like, ich gönne dieser Person ihren Erfolg. But Germans often think the other way around. When they see someone being successful and rich and wealthy, they begrudge that person. And they envy them, but in a negative way. Because you can also envy in a motivational way. In Germany, you don't really feel happy for those people, generally speaking, and their success most of the time. But rather quite the opposite. And that is ma makes me actually quite sad. Of course, there are people that are rich for questionable reasons, you know. There are many things to criticize in that whole realm but in general terms i feel like why do we always have to envy others in a negative way over here in germany why can we just be happy for that person's success what do you think about this i think that was my reaction to this video once again you can find the full video linked in the video description down below thanks for watching everyone thanks for making this video your true bit i really enjoyed that and uh, see you next time Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Definitely.